Hello, I am uh, Professor Pallet. So we will see the uh, preparation of boric acid. So for this you require uh, then simple apparatus. One is uh, beaker and uh, you require a glass rod and uh, the chemicals required for this is borax, uh, dilute sulfuric acid and uh, water. So uh, let me brief you about the principle involved. So exactly the borax the formula Na2B4O7 that's uh, react with the sulfuric acid. Okay, plus the formula of water. So since this uh, borax is also called as sodium tetraborate. So this boric acid will react with the sulfuric acid, uh, plays an uh, acid medium with the water and to yield this it's called a simple hydrolysis method, simple acid hydrolysis method. So where you get a required compound sodium sulfate plus you know, even the boric acid will be eliminated. So this boric acid you have to wash thoroughly uh, with the water because the sulfate ions which are present, the sulfate ions which are present may interfere in this uh, boric acid. That's why you have to eliminate or you have to overcome this by filtering uh, by washing consecutively with water. So where there is the elimination of water. Uh, and later on, once if you uh, find the boric acid, so you have to filter and the crystals will develop. And the crystals will develop and finally you need to calculate the percentage practical yield. Uh, initially, uh, theoretical yield by practical yield, you will get the percentage. This is the gen general basic principle involved in the boric acid. So, coming to the uh, practical aspects, transfer the borax and then place in the water bath. So, add around 10 ml of water. Water, then stir. Leave for at least fifteen minutes. Ensure that it should be completely solid. So go on stirring until five to ten minutes. So the borax will leave the water will be dissolved completely. So now this borax is completely dissolved in water. So we have to add 10 ml of dilute sulfuric acid. It plays a acid. So we have to take 10 ml of sulfuric acid. Now adding and stir. for at least 5 to 10 minutes and after 10 minutes remove from the then cool it you have to cool it under ice or running water then cool it down under running water you can use ice water bath or running water so after cooling for 5 minutes, so keep it aside for some more minutes where there will be development of crystals. So development of crystals takes place and after developing the crystals, so what you have to do is you have to decant the uh, upper supernated liquid. So decant the supernated liquid where you can see you can find a crystal should be appearing. So that crystals you need to filter, filter, okay, filter, the help of a little paper.
so once we filter so the crystals which are present will be surrounding this one. so this is how our soft filtration this crystal will you can mix the fine crystals of uh, this boric acid so this boric acid plays a very important role it can be used as an antiseptic so it is used in the treatment of acne and uh, i think you are familiar there it can also be used as a uh, dusting powder and you might have seen it as a in most of the common things you can use in the garden board where they use a dusting powder acts as smoothness acts as a dusting powder so these are all the a uh, simple uh, preparation of the boric acid so so about the preparation of boric acid.